Here's a 2015 Range Rover. Um, I have a dent right here. See that? And I don't drill holes, meaning I don't put a hole down the side or the back of the door so I can put a rod in to get leverage to push it out. Especially on a Range Rover in a retail setting, that's just not me as a technician. That's more of a kind of a dealer technique where they allow drilling and you put a cap in it, but not me. Um, I want to get I want to get to this dent and push it out. So I take apart the interior. Not a big deal. Um, interiors come out pretty easy. A lot of them have these uh, shields that you have to remove, but I just kind of unhook as much as I can of it and then swing it out and support it so I can get my hand inside there. Now, um, the particular dent that I'm going after is on a body line, but it's not, there's no way to kind of support yourself. And I want to show you how I use a dent. This is actually the very first dent dial ever made. It is um, the 22 light. And it's still going strong. I test it all the time. So I basically straightened out the edge just a little bit, not too much, because what I want to do is I want to run it down to where one end is resting on this side or this part of that inset in the frame. So I'm going to go all the way down, rest on it, and then I'm going to push out with the tip. So as we go inside, and I, and I put it all the way down the door, what happens, it works fine, but the tip is not adjustable. It's a little sticking out a little too far. And that's why I don't, uh, I recommend dent dial tips because even though these are fantastic tips, they don't pass through the bar unless uh, you have some kind of extension. So let me show you how I actually set up a dent dial tip. So I put a dent dial everyday tip on it, but do you see how I was able to pass it through the bar? Now I can lower it as really as low as I can. I can even put the nut on the other side, get it really low, and now it's adjustable in a quick, easy adjustment to go inside the panel and do really what I'm asking it to do, and that's be at the right distance so I can, I can get everything to fit. There it is, nice and tight. I push out here, I got good power. So that's it. That's how I use my dent dials. I basically use it as a leverage, but if I'm pushing over here and I'm based over there, I'm pushing with plenty of power right there. And that's just with my left hand. It's basically like a crowbar. You basically insert it, slide your fulcrum where you need to be, push and you got all the power you need. I'm going to reach in here with my one hand and I'm going to show you real carefully. Alright, I got the, the right spot. I feel really good about the push. Let's see how much power a dent dial can generate to push on aluminum. That is a lot of power. Look how far I'm pushing out that body line. And I'm doing it with one hand inside the panel, but I have the leverage so good that I'm, I'm pushing this out no problem. Oh yeah, plenty of power. And this is aluminum, so this takes a lot of power to move it like this. And I'm just doing it with my arm, and I'm holding the camera. 
try and do that with a rod. Well, you see the pushes. So proof's in the pudding. You can push a very strong dent out on aluminum with on one arm, no holes needed, with the correct tool that can get in there and get it done. It's bendable to get around all of the obstacles in the world. Anyway, you get the idea. Lots of power, and it's all about just the right leverage and setting it. it takes a little time, but it's better than drilling a hole. So there you go. Dentile.com. Buy your own 22 light and get inside of panels. Push dents out, make money. Thanks for watching. This is Sal with Dentile.com with the original 22 light dent dial.